Ed short move view. John Bennett did not have many friends when he was a kid, so at age seven he wished for his teddy bear Teddy to become alive. His wish was granted. Fast forward, he's now 35 and in a long-term relationship, four years, with Lori. And it's starting to put a little strain on their relationship that he still lives with Teddy. This movie makes the wise decision of having everyone be aware of and okay with the fact that the bear is alive and talks. So we don't have any of those stupid jokes of dressing up the inanimate object that shouldn't be alive kind of thing, hiding it from the world and all of that stuff. The plot, however, you've seen it all before and you can pretty well predict where it's going more or less every step of the way. That is not where the strength of this movie lies. That would be the humor, because this movie is hilarious. And surprisingly, it's actually almost equal parts raunchy comedy and actual emotional drama. The movie has a serious amount of heart. The comedy, of course, aims for absolutely everyone with offensive material regarding various groups of sexuality, ethnicity, and religion. The acting is rather good, and you believe the various people and their actions in the various situations and their different relationships. Not only the relationship between Lori and John, and the relationship between John and Ted, but also the relationship, which is of course strained, between Ted and Lori, who kind of just try to tolerate each other. They don't, they, they like each other, and they don't want the other to be, they, they don't want John to be without the other, but they're still, they feel like the other is intruding on their space. The movie is really well paced. It just flies right by. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below. It's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.